Hello, everybody. This is Scott Woods. I'm coming to you live from the Bat Cave, from a secure location somewhere in the Midwest. Guys, let's take a look at my screen. What we're going to do today, once again, because I get so many requests for this, on how to find shippers, how to find shippers. We're going to make another few videos on how to find shippers. Guys, finding shippers is one thing, but you got to know how to move that freight, you know, after you find it. And, you know, with all due respect, that's what we're the best. That's, that's what we show you how to do. Now, you'll see I already have a compulsory search done here. Today, I'm going to search Chambers of Commerce. Now, every everybody has a Chamber of Commerce, whether it's a small town, large town. You know, a lot of companies belong to them, you know, um, especially your manufacturers and your brick and mortar style businesses. So we're going to go ahead and start searching for some. Now, you have state chambers of commerce. You have individual city chambers of commerce. You might even have a county chambers of commerce. Now, what I'm going to show you here is the difference in some of them. All right, we're just going to go right here with these first two. We're going to focus on these. You'll see this link right here. It says Wisconsin Manufacturer and Commerce. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go to that website. What I'm going to do, as always, we're looking for the member directories. You know, because if they're going to freely give us our members, then we could just, you know, rape, pillage, and burn and, and go after it. You know, and we got a free, you know, lead resource right at our fingertips. Some of them will, some of them won't. Well, as I'm tooling around here, I see membership. I see Chamber of Commerce. I see About Us. I see News up on the top here with the menu now the one thing you don't see you know and i'm highlighting some of this stuff for you one thing you don't see is as i hover over these tabs there's no drop down menu all right so this i could just tell you from my experience in searching for leads all the time this is going to be we're, we're going to go nowhere quick but let's go ahead let's let's see if their membership list is out there Okay, and we're going to look for either the membership list or some keywords about it. You know, and basically, you're going to see what are they doing. They, all they're wanting you to do is sign up, sign up, sign up, and be a member. All right? Now, as I look at this, they're either hiding their member directory or, you know, they want you to join to get it. I'm going to look at products and services. I'm just going to scan the website. And I see a word here that I don't like. Business list. All right. And just read the description. Directly target the companies you are looking for by having WMC pull a list for you from DNB. We can segment by location, industry, and more. What they are doing, they are selling their members information. So basically, they want you to contact them and buy it. You know, and they're going to charge you an exorbitant amount for it. So, the, naturally, the first thing tells me, get out of here. I'm wasting time here. I might have to find their members a different way because sometimes you can actually find a back door into their directory. Well, let's go to the other one here. All right. Manufacturers Council. I see Charlotte Chambers of Commerce. This is obviously going to be a local chamber of commerce. Well, we're going to start with members. Then you got like, you'll see the links. And I love it because if there's a drop down box, it's a good sign. Charlotte members log in. Well, I'm not a member, nor do I want to be. But what I want is right there the chamber member directory. All right. So we're going to see what we can do here. Now it's going to let me do a member directory search. And I kind of like this because you, you got it here. They You can tell displaying. 1 through 30 of 390, all right, um, they have about 390 members there, but you've got minority-owned businesses, woman-owned businesses. You know, you could focus. Those are niche markets that you could focus on. But I, what I'm doing, you know, it's going to have all kinds of people in this list. you got accountants. you got advertising, you know, things like that. I, I, as I'm looking at this, I'm looking at, like, aircrafts, parts, and supplies. I would probably be calling them. I would also be calling, you know, uh, if I were doing, if I was a trucking company and I had, um, I did regional deliveries, 
with like your smaller box trucks and i always get a big question on that i'd be calling like the appliance guys because that's how you get a lot of your loads you know but i'm going to scan down here and see what they offer you know your automobiles your banking those are those guys aren't shipping you know the beer and you know now the beer and ale wholesalers maybe belting manufacturers maybe beverages distributors bottlers maybe you know but i'm looking for specifically manufacturers in this list all right and i'm scrolling i'm scrolling i'm scrolling eventually i'll get there they have a lot of categories here you know okay well now look at this i've got manufacturing all others manufacturing cable circuit boards electronics switch gear tires welding windows doors well any type of manufacturing if they make it they got to ship it all right well let's go ahead and click all others i don't want a specific category i'm just going to hit search i'm going to see if it'll give me everything all right and that's what it did it come up with displaying one through 30 of 71 listings what's it going to come up with it's going to come up with the name of the company of course all the information i need for billing their phone and the facts their website and now i have created a lead list if i'm working i'll use this lead list because i'm in charlotte maybe i'm trying to establish a lane as a trucking company and i'm trying to find manufacturers in charlotte you know maybe i've got a regular run that goes down to charlotte north carolina so i'm trying to find a backhaul for my guys out and i want to bypass a broker now brokers you're going to use this to beat the trucking company to the point you know well you want to find all the manufacturers you want to get on the phone with them and you want to apply your trade craft to get them to use you you guys like that spy word trade craft well you're not a spy you're a broker but we all have a trade craft in how well we do our job but you know here are 71 companies and i can tell you right now just by looking at the first 30 i've did business with four of these guys in other locations you know but here are 71 companies that we can go after to create our book of business trucking companies there are 71 companies and this stuff is going to be flatbed freight drive and freight you know that you can go after to create those back hauls or even if you're in that metro area to create line hauls for you these are the guys that are going to have the dedicated lanes these are the guys that you're going to be you know bidding on your consistent freight with guys that's just a little bit how to uh, use a chamber of commerce directory to make it successful for you some are easier than others as i told you but you know you get out there you start searching i'm going to turn you into a hound dog and a hunter guys we're the top freight broker trainers in america visit our website at www.freightbrokertrainer.com once again www.freightbrokertrainer.com Learn how to move freight from the best. We're not one of these schmucks on Craigslist. We're not one of these schmucks on YouTube. We've got the largest YouTube channel for moving freight for a reason. We actually show you how to do it. We do the job ourselves every day. Have a good day. This is Scott Woods signing out from the Bat Cave.